quality accessories are expensive, but they don't have to be. This is the Terion H1 smartphone clip. I'm not sure why they call it a clip, I would call it a mount, but nonetheless, it's a mount or clip for your photography and video needs using your smartphone. If you follow our channel, then you know we use a shoulder pod for our mount, and this reminds me a lot of the shoulder pod. The design is similar, but different in several ways, including the spring-loaded mount. When you undo the release, the jaws spring open very quickly. The kit comes with a wooden handle too. I find these small short handles like this to not be very useful though. But it works and is better than not having anything. A lot of these manufacturers send out these small handles, so it's not uncommon at all in this type of mount. One thing I do like though is the built-in cold shoe mount. It's great to be able to easily attach an accessory like a microphone or an LED light. And then it also comes with a wrist strap. It's a nice safety feature, although I find I don't really use it very often. Installing the phone is very simple. You just open it up and most phones will fit in this. Bring the clamps down and tighten it. One thing I will say though is it doesn't feel super secure. It's secure, but I wish you could tighten it even more. Like with the shoulder pod, you can actually clamp it down. I don't think the phone would fall out, but it just doesn't feel quite as secure as I would like. Our favorite way to use a mount like this is with a tripod. Now this is a tabletop tripod, but of course it could mount on any kind of tripod, a photo tripod or even a bigger professional video tripod. But one thing I really like about these tabletop tripods is they can also work as a hand grip, a quasi stabilizer. The phone feels secure. I wasn't worried about it falling off. Again, I wish it was a little bit of a tighter grip, but it definitely does the job. Or instead of a tripod like this, you could use an actual handle. This is one I use with DSLR cameras and mirrorless cameras as well, and of course it works great with a smartphone. And the mount works fine with this too. It feels very secure in your hand. And with this handle, you can mount it onto a tripod. So using a tripod or a hand grip like this gives you a lot of flexibility depending on what you're shooting. And then adding to that is using the cold shoe. I really like this. With the shoulder pod, you can add a cold shoe, but it's not part of the actual handle. It sits next to it, which works fine, but I like that this is put together. And there's several other ones like this on the market too. One thing I like to do is keep my mobile filmmaking kit compact. And so like in this instance, you've got your case, the mount, and then a microphone, and you can go shoot pretty much in any scenario. And this is actually a moment case, so I could add lenses to this too. Or let's say you wanna add a light on top. This is a cool little LED light, and I've been meaning to do a review on this. It's a great little light from Aperture. Very portable, very affordable, very lightweight, and very bright. So having the ability to put any one of these accessories on your phone just really expands what you can go out and shoot with your setup. And the Terion mount holds it all fine. Removing the phone is very easy and maybe actually a little bit too easy. You need to be careful not to bump that release when you're shooting, otherwise you could drop your phone. And just to see the size of the mount, this is an iPhone 8 Plus as a comparison. At the time of this review, this mount is under 20 US dollars. I would say this is a good deal, especially for someone just starting out or anyone on a budget that really needs a mount for your phone because this is one of those accessories that really everyone needs. Mounting your phone to a tripod at bare minimum is really imperative to create better looking and more professional video. So while the Terion H1 mount is not the same quality as the shoulder pod, that's probably my first choice in this category, but it's about twice the cost. So if you're looking for an affordable, budget-friendly mount but also has a cold shoe, which is really nice, then I think this is a great option and something that you should really consider adding to your smartphone filmmaking kit. Hope you liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, please give us a thumbs up, 
And if you're not subscribed, please do that now so you won't miss any of our future content. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you in the next one.